I find it kind of funny that sometimes Batman villains don't always have it out for Batman as often as you'd think. Sometimes they just do crazy things to civilians in Gotham for like no reason at all because they're just plain insane. Take for instance Penguin for example, where after having dinner with his girlfriend for some time, he'd see the restaurant's chef laughing in his direction. And Penguin being insane, he thinks the chef is laughing at him. So what does Penguin do next? Well, he almost gets up to kill him for starters. But instead of doing that, the next day he buys the restaurant the chef works at. Then he fires all the staff including the chef. He then gets the chef's girlfriend deported, fills the chef's house with killer bees, condemns the chef's favorite park, and systematically ruins everything in the chef's life to the point where he becomes suicidal. And when he finally does end up killing himself, the penguin laughs for hours and hours seeing the chef's name in the obituaries, getting some sick and twisted win from it all. Then there are stories like the Joker torturing a guy for five years mentally and physically, which I already talked about before. But today I have a story for you all about Two-Face trying to show an ordinary man that lives in Gotham City that there are two sides to every coin. As we start the story with the Joker beginning this truly tragic tale as it starts in Arkham Asylum. Now there once was a time where the warden of the asylum used to allow ordinary citizens of Gotham to visit various patients to offer care. And one day a man named Holman Hunt decided to visit Two-Face in an effort to help deal with his affliction. You see, Holman was once a pretty good firefighter, but after responding to a call about a warehouse fire, everything would pretty much go wrong as Holman got half of his face along with his body covered in gasoline. And with the fire being so great, it ended up burning half of his body, and it would have killed him if not for Batman showing up and saving Holman, explaining to Two-Face that ever since that day, he's made a huge effort to help people who have gone through the same things Holman's been through, like motivational mentoring and personal counseling, exclaiming that he understands what Two-Face has been through. But in Two-Face listening to Holman, he then asks what his whole shtick is, saying to Holman that he came out of the same experience a hero, while... Two-Face himself came out of it behind bars, even asking Holman was it just because he was always evil deep down, that's why he ended up like this? To which Holman says to Two-Face that it's not that in the slightest. Holman barely made it out of his own sanity himself if it weren't for his love for God and his wife, asking Two-Face if he wants to know how she did it, to which Two-Face says, do tell. And Holman looks at Two-Face's eyes and says his wife looked right at his face and never flinched, only for Two-Face to say right back that his wife left him. Holman then tries to explain his point that his wife made him realize that what truly matters lies underneath the skin and that anyone can recover with time. But Two-Face takes offense and starts to say that if that's so, then it could easily go the other way around where with time, Two-Face could make Holman just like him. Holman gets kind of shocked from what Two-Face says, saying to Two-Face that he can just be his friend, someone to talk to, even asking Two-Face if he'd like to see him again. But Two-Face says he can't answer that, as the warden from the other side of the glass says he can have his coin so long as it's one toss as he later flips it to end up landing on tails. Holman then asks if he'll see him again next week as Two-Face says no, but he will be seeing him again shortly. Fast forward weeks later at the dead of night where most terrible things in Gotham City occur, Holman hears a bump in the night and awakes, waking up to turn on the light, calling out to his wife Dana only to look forward in horror as Two-Face walks out from the shadows to say, Boo. Holman in complete terror can do nothing but listen to Two-Face as he begins to tell Holman that he broke out of the asylum a few hours ago after killing the administrator of Arkham Asylum as he pulls out a needle. But while Two-Face pulls out the needle, Holman gets the courage to ask where his wife is, but Two-Face just says that he'll see her soon as Two-Face drugs Holman. A while later, Holman would wake in an abandoned theater with Two-Face pointing a camera at him. Holman looking around, he sees his wife hooked up to a death trap, but before he can try to save her, Two-Face stops Holman to to explain just what the situation is and why he's recording everything. Telling Holman that just above his wife's pretty head is a tank full of falsiric acid and the valve is electronically controlled by one of his loyal henchmen. And while Two-Face is explaining the device, he decides to give Holman a small demo as to what the device can do to her, allowing one drop of acid to drip on her face. So Two-Face gives his henchmen the good to go and out of the pipe, a small teensy drop of acid slowly pours down from the drain and drops onto Dana's face, sizzling 
signaling as Hallman screams to stop everything. After the acid does its work, Two-Face then mocks Dana's new scar and says that it's what's under the skin that counts. While Holman screams, he'll do anything for Two-Face to let her go. So Two-Face looks at Holman and says that he'll let her go, but he only has to do one thing. Activating a spotlight showing a gun nearby and another spotlight over the Batman himself. Two-Face then says that if Holman can point the six-shooter at Batman and pull the trigger, they can both go free. But Holman says that he can't do that and that it'd be murder. But Two-Face says that if he doesn't, the tank of acid releases over his wife's head and she dies. Two choices. That's all Holman gets. But Holman just points the gun at Two-Face instead. As Holman demands the henchman to put down the remote and tries to hold up Two-Face as well. But while doing so, Two-Face pulls out his own gun and doesn't leave Holman any choice but to kill him. So with that, they both fire their guns, only to find out that Holman's gun was full of blanks the entire time. And then Two-Face reveals that the Batman chained up was just one of his henchmen the entire time. Revealing to Holman that this whole setup Two-Face has made was to test Holman to see if he could make the right choice choice to save his wife, but he made the wrong one, and now his wife is going to die. But before killing his wife, he gives Holman another chance with a flip of a coin, telling Holman that this is as close as he'll ever get to controlling his destiny. Telling Holman and his wife that it's chance that decides who lives and who dies. And this coin flip is what decides whether or not he blows his wife's brains out tonight. So Two-Face flips his coin and everyone watches in anticipation. But then a shadow looms over Two-Face as Batman arrives grabbing the coin, sucker punching Two-Face saying that he's wrong. Batman is the one who decides. After this, we switch to the Joker saying that Batman did end up arriving like a bad penny to save the day at the end, but something happened to Holman and his wife after that night. After Holman looked at his wife, seeing the acid drop on her face, realizing that he made the wrong decision, he knew things would never be the same due to his choice. So the next day, Holman left her and his wife didn't stop him. And a week later, he found himself in a motel room in front of a broken mirror with nothing but a cell phone and a loaded gun. Now switching back to the Joker, he says that the way Two-Face told the story, there were two ways it could have ended. So go get a coin for this last part. I'm being serious. Go find one. Anywhere. It's important for the story. I'll wait. Okay, good. Now you have the coin. What we're gonna do is pretty simple, really. We're going to decide how Holman's story ends together. Heads, he reaches for his cell phone and calls his wife, and the two live happily ever after, blah, blah, blah. Or tails. Holman can't take life anymore and reaches for the gun and goes kablooey. So what's it gonna be, folks? Flip the coin. Heads or tails. There are two sides to every coin at the end of the day, so tell me. Which one did you get? I hope you all like the story, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch y'all on the flip side.